Welcome. In this video, we will be discussing points, lines, and planes. So let's get started. Let's start by defining a point. So what exactly is a point? Well, a point is nothing more than just a dot. In geometry, we're going to be using points to represent some kind of a location. We need to discuss how we're going to be naming points. So how exactly do we name points? We use capital letters, which in this case, if we go back to this illustration of a dot, if I put a capital letter A right next to it, then I can say that this point it's called A. We can refer to it as point A. Let's give a different example. Let's say we have a different dot and there's a different capital letter attached to it. I don't know, let's say there's a B, then I can call this point B. And that's about it. There's really not much to say about points. They're just locations and we use a capital letter to give a name to it. Let's discuss something more interesting which is a line. So how exactly do we define a line? Well, let's visualize it. So here we have a standard line. One thing to notice is that lines have infinite length. And that's the reason as to why we have those arrows on the left and the right hand side to it. So now, what's the next question? The next question is how do we name lines? Well, not lines are composed of points. So it's a set of points, which in this case, let me just put some points on this line. Let's call this point A, B, C, and D. Let's say that this line passes through these four different points, A, B, C, D. We only need to identify two different points to give a name to this line. So to give a name, we need to just identify two points. There's a lot to choose from here. There's four of them. So now let's just choose two different points. So let's say I'm going to choose point A here and point B here. I can give a name to this line and I can refer to it as line AB. But we got to talk about different notation. So it is true, I can call it AB. But the way that we need to indicate that these points are on a line is by putting a line on top of the two points that we have in there. So now this is the correct way to give a name to this line. We can refer to this as line AB. This is not the only way that we can give. This is not the only name that we can give the sign. I could also chosen two other points. I could have chosen point A and point C. So I can call this AC. But don't forget that we need to put the right notation to it. And the notation is by placing an arrow on top of the two points. And hopefully by now you can see that there's different ways that we can name this line. Uh, I don't know, I could have chosen point A and point D. And if so, then perhaps another way that I can name this is just point AD. But what if there's some other point that is not on the line? I don't know, let's say it's over here. Let's call this F. Now we need to be, be able to distinguish which points are on the line and which points are not on the line. Well, those points that are on the same line, we call them collinear So if we take a look at this illustration that we have on the on, on top then A B C and D are collinear points F it's not collinear 
it is not within the same line. So we can say that A, B, C, and D are collinear points. They are on the same line where F is not. So F is not collinear. And that's as much as we need to know about lines. We need to know what they are. It's a connection of points and the name. The name, we have a notation. The notation is by placing kind of an arrow on top of it. And we need to be able to distinguish which points are on the line and which are not. And for that, we use the term collinear. Collinear are those points that are within the same line. So perhaps the last item that we need to discuss today is this item of a plane. So what exactly it's a plane. So third, a plane. A plane, it's nothing more than a flat surface. The best way to just visualize it is just a piece of paper. A piece of paper, it's flat. We call we can we can see that as a plane. And the way that we mostly just represent it in geometry, we use some kind of a figure that looks like this. Now, this is a little bit misleading because by definitions, planes have no length. I'm sorry, they do have length, but that length is infinite. So they have infinite length. So this figure is a little misleading because we can kind of see that i mean those this line seems to be ending at these four different points that i'm placing right here but it's just very difficult for us to actually draw a line or draw a flat surface where there's no ending to it so i just wanted to to point that out so even though this looks like it is defined there is a defined length to it by definition planes do not have a finite length they are infinite when it comes to length so now the next question is, how do we name, how do we name a plane? Well, planes, we have points in them. So let me just define some different points. And let me put a point on the outside. So here we have different points within this plane. Now, the way that we're going to be naming this plane is by just choosing three points. We need to identify three different points within the plane to give it a name. So one way that we can call this plane is by calling it plane ABC. I mean, I can choose these three different points that I have here. Point A, B, and C, those three points are on the plane. So I could have used them to just give it a name. So plane A, B, and C. Also, I could have chosen other three points, one, two, three, which in this case, that's B, E, D. So I could have named this plane E, B, D. So this, as you can see here, we're not going to name, we're not going to name all the possible names. All we need is just to identify three different points that are within the plane. It will not be okay for us to choose point F as a point when we want to give a name to it, because F is not on the plane. So again, we need a term to distinguish which points are on the plane and which points are not on the plane. Well, those points that are on the plane, we define them as coplanar set of points. Coplanar set of points is points that are, oops, sorry about that. So points,
that are on the same plane. Here we have different examples. So let's go back to this illustration here. In this case, A, B, C, E, D, and E, all those points are on the same plane. So we can say that A, B, C, F, D, E are coplanar. We can see that this point that we have here, F, it's not on the plane itself. So therefore, we can say that F is not a coplanar point. This point is not on the same plane. So therefore, we cannot define it as a coplanar. So let's just summarize what we have done here. We started by saying the points the way that we name them is by just using one letter and we use it to represent location. When it comes to lines, lines passes through different points. We only need two points to give it a name to it. And don't forget, we need to use the right notation. And that notation is by placing some kind of an arrow on top of the two points that we decided to use to give a name to this line. We need to differentiate which points are on the line and which points are not. We use the term collinear. Collinear are those points that are on the same line. And the last item that we discussed here was plane. Plane, it has infinite length. It is some kind of a flat surface, but we need three different points to give it a name to it. If we want to differentiate coplanar, it's a term that we use to differentiate what points are on the plane and which are not planner on the same plane. And with this, it concludes our lesson of points, lines, and planes.